Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Photo Dude. Uh, in this episode we're going to take a look at uh, doing some basic image corrections uh, on an initially very underexposed picture of a child and we're going to use a program called GIMP. And GIMP is a, essentially an open source alternative to Photoshop. And when I say open source, if you're not familiar with open source, open source software is software that's been developed uh, as part of something called the GNU project and is available for download basically free online. And it's also available for software developers to make additions to it. And you can download it and use it without paying uh, a purchase fee, a registration fee, and you're actually free to use it in any way that you like to. So we're going to go and start out by opening the image up here in the upper left hand corner file. Now I'm going to say open recent because I've already had this image opened and I'm going to bring up the file that we're going to work on. And this first box comes up and asks us whether we want to rotate it or keep the current orientation and I'm going to say rotate because it is a vertical image. And here it brings up the image and as you can see uh, it's a cute picture of a child but it's basically quite underexposed. And the way I'm going to deal with this this morning is we're going to go up and take a look in the right hand side at the, tool, at the box up here and you can see on the left here we have a layers dialog box and on the right to the right of that we have a channels dialog box and I'm going to open that. Uh, and channels, uh, basically the concept behind channels is that a digital image is essentially a sandwich of, uh, a sandwich of colors. In, in this case if it's an RGB image it's the colors red, green, and blue. If it's a CYMK, if we're operating in CYMK it's cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. So key, K stands for key, but it's basically black. Uh, this image is RGB, and so we have red, green, and blue. Uh, now the option of the op opportunity that we have with channels is that we can go in and look at each of those layers and edit them individually, which gives us a lot more control than if we edit the image with all three already sandwiched together. And we can tweak our results uh, much with a lot more. Uh, creativity than we can if we're just applying a one-size-fits-all solution. So I'm going to go in here and click these eyeballs to turn off the channels and then I'm going to go back in and click them one at a time to turn on individual channels so that we can work on them individually. I've opened the red channel and the next step is we're going to go up to the top here to the colors uh, click on colors and then we're going to open the levels dialog box and we have a levels box here very similar to Photoshop and I'm going to move that down here to the right so that you can see the image and we're going to go in here and we're going to come to the left hand side of this curve the input levels curve we're going to move this just slightly to the right maybe one unit and we're going to bring the right hand slider all the way into the edge of where the graph begins to build up Okay, you can see that's already made a lot of improvement in terms of uh, lightening up the photograph in the middle here is going to uh, deal with our midtones, and we can see by sliding back and forth to the right. If we go to the right, it darkens it. If we go to the left, it's going to lighten it up a little bit. So we're going to bring that over to the left. Go up. We click OK. Then we're going to come down, turn off the red channel, and turn on the green channel, and go through the same process: colors, levels. Move the dialog box so you can see it. Bring our left slider in, maybe one unit. Our right slider is already at the edge of the graph, and then we can make some mid-tone corrections here. Just a little bit there. Come up, say OK, and now finally to the blue channel. Blue channel looks fairly dark. We're going to go layers, I'm sorry, colors, levels. Come back down here so you can see that. Move that into the right just a little bit. We're already at the edge of the graph on the right-hand side and play with our mid-tone slider, bringing it a little bit to the left, maybe not too much, click OK, come back on, turn all the channels on and we can see what we've done to the image. If we come back and open up the original image, you can see the dramatic, fairly dramatic difference. Here's our original image, Here's our edited image. Edited and original. And that's the end of our lesson for this morning, and thanks for stopping by.